you can see that we have fractions here. So you know what? The best thing to do is get fractions. Guys, if I have um, 1 over, like, here, let me, let me put it to you this way. 1 third plus 1 half. We're adding those. You guys said the LCD is 6. Did you guys agree with me? Right? The product, basically, of them. Right? Or not the, yeah, it basically is the product of them. Then, if I had 1 over x plus 3 plus 1 over x plus 2, the LCD is basically the product, x plus 3 times x plus 2. OK, that's the easiest way is to be able to just, you're just taking the product of them. Interesting, James. Interesting. Very interesting. So if I'm asking you now for what is the common denominator of 1 over 1 plus secant of x and 1 over tangent of x, again, it's just going to be the product. So all you guys need to do is write down what the LCD is which is just the product 1 plus secant of x times tangent of x. It's just going to be the product of those two, of your two denominators. So to get common denominators, I need to multiply this by tangent of x over tangent of x. And then here, 1 plus secant of x over 1, 1 plus secant of x. Now, when I do that, I can put them under the same denominator, which is common, which is now tangent times 1 times 1 plus secant of x. So when I do this, I get tangent squared. Guys, this is a binomial squared, correct? Binomial squared is going to give me secant squared of x plus 2 secant of x plus 1 all over our common denominator. Looks like we just made everything much more confusing, doesn't it, Lahiza? Doesn't it look like much more confusing, right? So we got to start condensing things down. Now, um, I do notice that whenever I see a squared, right, I need to look for my Pythagorean identities. So my one Pythagorean identity I should be looking for is 1 plus tangent squared of x equals secant squared of x. That is an identity that is given to you. So you guys can all see that identity. So if you guys notice here, tangent squared plus 1 is equal to secant squared. And then could I add that secant squared to this secant squared? I could do that, and therefore I would obtain 2 secant squared of x plus 2 secant of x all over tangent of x times 1 plus secant of x. It's looking better. It's getting smaller. Now, I notice in the top they both have secants. Could I factor out a secant? Sure, why not? Let's try it, see what happens. So if I factor out, actually I can factor out a 2 secant of x. By doing that, I'm left with the secant of x plus 1 all over my common denominator. Those are exactly the same, so those divide out. Now I'm left with 2 secant of x over tangent of x. We might want to write that out as uh, 2 over cosine of x divided by sine of x over cosine of x. And guys, if you notice here, if I multiply by the reciprocal on the top and bottom, the cosines will divide out, and I'll be left with 2 over sine of x, which is equal to 2 cosecant of x.